Hi, I'm Susan Kirsch, and this is Amber, and we're going to share her first time makeup lesson online at pandorasmakeupbox.com. Hi, Amber. Hello. We're going to start with very natural look. She's a student, and she will be starting school soon. We're going to actually start with a powder. It's going to act as her foundation and take away shine. I'm blending it from the hairline forward on her nose and on her chin. That's all she needs for foundation. She's got beautiful skin. So start at the hairline, blend forward on the top of the nose and on the chin. Perfect. The next step is eyelid primer. It's a creamy product. Blend with my finger. I'm going to apply it all over the eyelid from the lash line right up to the brow in long smooth strokes evening out the skin tone of her eyelid so that when we put the first eyeshadow on, it goes on smoothly. Go ahead, Amber. So blend it in long, smooth strokes all over the eyelid from the lash line right up to the brows. That's great. This will help make your eyeshadows last longer too. Our next step is using a four palette combination. We're going to take the first base color it's actually a soft, soft ivory. We're going to use it all over the primer with a flat brush in long, smooth strokes everywhere where we put the eyelid primer. This seals the primer and opens up the eye. Try that. So blend it all over the eyelid in long, smooth strokes right up to the eyebrow. Perfect. The next step is we're taking this color, a little bit more sandy color, with again the other side of the flat brush. We're going to press it on the lid from the crease right to the lash line. This is a great color that's very neutral, very easy to work with. Go ahead. So start from the crease, blend it by patting and then long smooth strokes all over the eyelid from the crease till the lash line. Our next step is filling in eyebrows just to fill in some spaces. I'm taking the crease color actually and we're going to double and use it to fill in the brows. Also adjust the color of Amber's brows to suit the color of her gorgeous color, Amber hair. We're going to use an angle brush first and then take a clean mascara wand and feather it so that you can't even see that I actually put powder in her eyebrows. It makes the brow look totally natural. So I'm going to hand you the angle brush first. I want you to fill in some spaces in your brow. Short strokes, upwards in the arch and then out. And I'm going to have you take the mascara wand that's clean and just feather the shadow that we just used. Perfect. Our next step is using a crease color. We're using this taupey color on the bottom here with a crease brush. We're going to start looking straight ahead under the arch, form a semicircle back and forth outwards and up. This is a beautiful way of adding more contour and dimension to the eye itself. She's got gorgeous shaped eyes. We're just All we're doing is bringing out what she already has. So start underneath the brow, blend in a semicircle, back and forth. That's fantastic. And then go out and up. That's great. Our next step for the eyes is applying eyeliner. I'm taking a very thin brush with the darkest color in the palette. I'm wetting it with some water and I've applied the water into the shadow. And we're going to use this because it's a very exact line and it looks very natural. I'm going to hold Amber's eyes at the side. I'm going to have her look down. I'm resting the brush right on the lashes. That way the lashes act like a little shelf 
It makes it much easier for me to spread the liner. Now I'm going to give this to Amber to do herself. I've added a little bit more water, a little bit more eyeshadow. When this dries, it lasts all day. You can hold your eye with your other hand, your left hand, rest the brush on the lashes, and slide it. Fantastic. Try and use the whole length of the brush. That's great. And leave it resting on the lashes so that it becomes an even smooth line. This is really the hardest part mm -hmm. to do, but you're doing a great job. I can't believe this is the first time you've done this. Fantastic. Good work. Our next step is just adding a small amount of mascara for a daytime natural look. What I'm going to do is hold her eye, just press it at the root, just a smidgen, and hold the eye this way, sliding the brush sideways. So go ahead, hold the brush lengthways, slide it sideways and through, and just tap a little bit at the root on the bottom lashes. Fantastic. I have a gorgeous color natural lipstick for Amber. It's called Sweet. It's a very, very soft lipstick. And why are we using lipstick for a young girl? Well, it looks like lip gloss, but it lasts longer. Now I'm going to have you add a little bit more. Well done. Now I'm taking some bronzer with a large brush. I'm going to add just a smidgen. This is called a touch of bronze for a fair skin. We're starting at the hairline, blending underneath the cheekbone and then the shape of the number three. Ah, that's great. So, as long as you start from the hairline, it's pretty safe because bronzer has a lot of pigmentation in it and when you come forward, it comes, ends up being really, really soft. So, I'm going to add this, just a smidgen for amber, dust off a little bit. Start at the middle of the ear at the hairline, come underneath the cheekbone, fantastic. Don't worry about the forehead on that side because you have nice, gorgeous bangs and a little bit underneath the jawline and the top of the nose. Great. Our last step is just a little bit of blush. We're going to use a small round blush brush, tap it into the color, start at the side again, come a little bit to the front of the cheek and back, just a small semicircle. All right. Start a little bit at the hairline here, come to the front of the cheek and back, and smile. <laughs> That's fabulous. Very well done. That should take her about five minutes if she practiced every day for just a week and she'll be able to do this herself in about five minutes.